Happy holidays, everyone. Did you know that Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays? I look forward to it all year long. The kids and I get in the kitchen, we get our hands dirty, we make all kinds of fun treats and many of your classic Thanksgiving recipes. We have one issue though, we are all gluten free. So how in the world do you make a healthy stuffing gluten free? I'm excited today to show you how to do a gluten-free, yummy Thanksgiving stuffing. All right, so here I am making this yummy gluten-free stuffing. We're gonna start with, of course, the key ingredient, which is gluten-free bread. And this could be any type of gluten-free bread that you like. You can even make your own if you're adventurous enough. So we're chopping everything up. We're gonna chop up the bread into little cubes here. And the next few steps are fairly easy. I've sort of prepped everything else we need to do. But the first is just getting these cubes of bread directly onto a greased pan or a baking sheet here. So I'm just drizzling a little bit of oil on there. I'll use my hands. You guys can use whatever you like, but just kind of making the bottom nice and moist. And then all I have to do from there is just grab these cubes. I'm going to put all of these directly onto this pan. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over it and add a pinch of salt and stick it directly into the oven. So here we go. Quick drizzle. Putting this directly in the oven. Let's get this in here. And then we're gonna move on to mixing some of the rest of these ingredients together. So what I've got here are some chopped onions, which we know are so important in our stuffing recipe. We're gonna put those first into this little pan. I'm gonna add the butter in here as well. So we've got the butter already ready to go. We're gonna add celery too, and we have fun with celery. We put a ton of fun celery in here. It gives it that crunch, it gives it some of the flavor. Celery is really healthy too, by the way, right? So many people are juicing uh, celery and having that sort of as their morning uh, routine there because we know celery has so many amazing health properties. And somebody was telling me the story recently, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but celery in the ancient times was actually displayed out on your table. So when you had people over, you would put a big stock of celery out. It was actually a symbol of wealth. I didn't know that. And now we just sort of take celery for granted. So I thought that was an interesting little story and how it did make its way into our Thanksgiving recipes at least. All right, I've put some garlic in here too. I've got the oven on. We're gonna saute all of this together. Don't forget I post new videos every Thursday. Hit subscribe. So I'm going to keep sauteing it. We have a couple more things we need to put in here. We're going to go ahead and add the seasoning as well. Let's put that back in. And we're going to go ahead and let this butter melt and let all of this get nice and toasty. So as I pour some of these seasonings in, this is a place where you can have fun and make it your own, honestly, because I have sage, thyme, a little bit of sea salt. Sometimes I'll even add black pepper to it and some paprika, depending on how much flavor and how much taste we want and the crowd that's coming. So some of that will determine what I use. But if you want to keep it simple, sage, thyme, and a little bit of salt is good enough. And you can pour that in here. We really want to get this butter to melt. We want to kind of brown the celery and the onion, let all of this mix together. So I'm going to give that a minute and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, my next step is to go ahead and get this broth to simmer. So I'm gonna pour my broth directly into the pan. I've got that simmering on low here, so we're gonna give that just a couple of minutes to, to get that to the temperature we wanna get it. But then I'm gonna take my free time and go ahead and make my egg mixture. So we're gonna go ahead and crack these two eggs. We've got one. I love eggs, you know that already, by the way. Lots of great healthy properties to eggs. But here in our gluten-free stuffing, it's an important ingredient to give us that consistency to help everything kind of hold together. So I'm gonna to whisk up my eggs here. What's that broth doing? Perfect. All right, just gonna give that a minute. You know who's really good at this is Rania. She can like whisk an egg like nobody's business. I don't know where she learned that. It wasn't for me. She's been making all her own stuff recently. Okay, we're gonna take the broth that now is at the right temperature, pour it into this egg mixture. There we go. Put that all together. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pour this directly into this bowl because I'm about to take my bread out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these bread cubes out. Remember those, we have these toasting in the oven. And we're gonna pour those directly into this bowl where we've got our celery and our onion and all that other good stuff already mixed up. And we'll pour this mixture of our broth and egg directly 
to that. See how easy this is? A couple of steps, but fairly easy. And then we want to mix all of this together, get everything really soaked so that all that yumminess is kind of soaked into the bread here. So I usually give that a minute. I mean, I'll sit here and play for a couple of minutes while all of this soaks and kind of gets nice and soggy. That's, I think, really where we want it. The soggier, the better. All right, so once we have it right where we need it, we're gonna pour it into our baking sheet, stick it back into the oven. Here we go. All right, let's get this out of the oven and see what it looks like. Ooh, looks and smells delicious. There we go, gluten-free stuffing. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you guys have an incredible holiday season.